Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you Lord God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Taurus, um, what we have is uh, take time to breathe out, disseminating moon, right? Then we have forgiveness, okay? And then we have realizations in, why am I doing it like that? In epiphanies, okay? So it looks like for some of you, um, this is the time for you to reevaluate where you are. It's not time for you to start something new and jump into something new and just forget about what just happened. It's a time for you to really reflect, self-reflect, maybe even forgive yourself. The forgiveness card sometimes talks about, firstly, forgiveness starts at home. It starts with you and then you can start to forgive outward. It starts inward and then outward. Um, some of you have you're in a situation where you now feel differently about it with this realization and epiphany card. At first it was okay, you dealt with it. And now you're starting to think and feel differently. What used to make you feel comfortable is now making you feel uncomfortable for whatever reason. People have the right to change. And it looks like you have changed or you are changing. You might even be going on a spiritual trip or journey or you're just really trying to get more sound, uh, more sound in your values and your morals in your ethics what you what you create for yourself your own personal philosophy may be shifting it used to be okay yeah, i was okay with drugging and drinking every single day and sleeping around and this and that or whatever you do and now you just don't feel comfortable in it if you're in a relationship you were okay with the person doing whatever they do just having their way in a relationship but now it's making you question yourself is you're questioning them you're questioning the whole relationship sometimes the realization and epiphany card speaks of growing apart in a relationship um it also can talk about uh again spiritual journey now you're you're seeing something differently because you're on some spiritual path maybe because you're you know you're meditating and kind of ruminating on what has happened what has transpired what someone said the vision I was getting off camera for you when I was shuffling for you is like somebody's coming to the door with their just like a wife beater on or just coming unkempt, just not put together and you're kind of just looking at them. Um, now, it could be a whole physical thing in terms of you just, you're not attracted to someone anymore physically or it can just be more so the entire person. Um, you're not attracted to who they are, their soul, on a soul level, you're not attracted to them anymore. If you're a third party or you were a part of a third party, you no longer want to be in that because of this new spiritual path, this new set of morals, values, ethics that you have about yourself that you're trying to create for yourself. You just don't want to be involved in it. It doesn't lend well to that. It's not good for you to stress over and stress out about where you are now. You just need to take the approach of um, your mantra needs to be, you know, I am where I am and it's okay. Deal with where you are. Really go over your feelings and really realize, have that realization and those epiphanies um, in terms of what part you played in this and how you can uh, move out of this energy if this is what you're looking to do. If this is a breakup or uh, or it is um or you know that a breakup is pending or it's impending here ask your angels to help you let go of sadness and pain um so that you can move forward okay very soon you're going to know where you stand with someone or, or either they're going to know where you, where they stand with you um you just really need to take some time out for yourself and for your own good. Um, you have been adding to a relationship. You have been putting time, energy, effort into a relationship. 
and it's not been yielding you anything or very little. You have not been getting a, your fair share of you fill in the blank love, money, sex. I don't know. Something is not good for you or it's not it's no longer good. It used to be okay. You were comfortable in it, but now it's making you uncomfortable. Make sure you don't just fall into a slump and say, okay, this is where I am and whatever. I'm not going to do anything to get out of it. No, no, no. Pick yourself up and get out of that because what's on the other side of this is um, whatever you make it, whatever you want for yourself. It's also time for you to share your your wisdom, your experience with someone else because it could help you and it could help someone else. Okay? Um, it's a time to give than to take right now. Um, give what doesn't put you at a place of depletion or lack. If you don't have enough to give, don't give. And that's energy, that's love, that's time, that's money. If you don't have enough, don't give it. Okay? Um, no one says you're going to be blessed for giving your last. No, no, no. That is foolish. Okay? You, you know the word reserve, right? Or reserves. You have to have some for yourself. Okay? So, um, make sure you're only giving out of a place of abundance. Okay? And not from a place of depletion. Um, you may have been hit with some obstacle and you feel like you failed or you didn't get what you wanted or you were the failure here or you were kind of like beating your head against, you know, a brick wall here. It's okay. Deal with it and move on. But deal with it in, in, your, in your way, in your time, okay? Forgive yourself for allowing yourself to be a part of something that just wasn't good for you, that just isn't good for you, for putting so much time, energy, effort behind somebody who just didn't care for oversharing, for overgiving. Okay? Um, somebody cares more than the other. Somebody put more energy into a relationship than the other person here. Somebody was doing something over and over again. And now maybe you feel uncomfortable with it. And it's time for you to get out of it. This person might not understand it because this will be a new you, a new way of existing. But you have to take this time out for yourself to do do you, do what's best for you. Taurus, if you feel like this reading resonates for you and you want to bring in new energy for yourself, get in on the new moon manifestation happening tomorrow, July 9th. The link is below if you want to manifest new love, new streams of income, if you want to banish energy, people, places, things that no longer serve you, fear, anxiety. Things of those natures. Get in on this new moon manifestation, okay? Um, also, if you want to get your own personal reading like this one, go over to the website, book there. Or if you have a question or two, you can text your question to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you. Take care.